Welcome back. Uh, hello friends, Sniz here, and today we are back in Reboot, uh, playing the class Thunderbreaker on my character Sniz, the solo progression character. Uh, we hit the ground running, and I'm just gonna get right into this. Uh, we're, we just made third job advancement, we're level 60, and we're going to be just barreling towards 70 to unlock uh inner ability which i will explain in the next clip other than that i am on the infamous sleepy wood map sleepy sleepy wood i feel like that's wrong now uh anyways i'm fighting copper drakes or regular drakes i don't even know they're copper definitely copper and uh you know have this insane mobility skill so i'm just making use of it uh use tots as it gives you 60 level 60 equipment which you know is going to carry you because unless you're uh, consistently and constantly picking up item drops you're probably not going to find any gear till around 100 and so when you go do zackum other than 110 i believe other than that i'll see you when i hit 70. so very briefly, and something I should have touched on at level 30, 50, and of course now level 70, uh, there is three lines, uh, much like the potential system which we'll get into later, uh, there is something called inner ability. Inner ability is three lines of stats. Uh, they can give you multiple things. They can give you boss damage, attack, magic attack, uh, straight stat, health, defense, mana, like you name it and there's three lines of so you get three lines wow i've said three lines a lot anyways each line has to be unique the only time that it's n as in you can't have two lines that are giving crit but you can have multiple lines that are giving stat for whatever reason stat is the only one that is allowed to have duplicates other than that there is tiers of inner ability there is rare epic unique and legendary uh, I'm not exactly sure of the percentage off the top of my head, but you can use Honor EXP to re-roll your ability. And if you don't lock the tier, you have a chance of tiering up or down depending on where you are. So starting at Rare, I tried to tier up to Epic, and then from Epic I tried to tier up to Unique. We will stop at Unique for the very... Uh, for the fact that you have like a lot much you have like a 15% chance to go back down to epic whereas you only have a one or two percent chance to tear up to legendary uh, the reason we stop at unique is because there is an item in the cash shop called the miracle circulator which allows you to re-roll your inner ability and it's like a black cube except for your inner ability uh, so you can tear up to legendary without losing unique as you will never go down so once I got unique, I rolled a few because I was just trying to get a decent line to hold myself at and for later because I'm still debating. I was still debating at this point in time whether I was going to make a con or not. So that knowing knowing ahead of time that I may or may not make a con uh, will decide will help me better determine what to do right now. And since I'm unsure, I didn't do anything. I just locked at unique uh, just so I didn't waste much money. Uh, yeah. Other than that, after going through this god-awful system of inner ability, I got no lines, nothing good. I hopped channels to find another free one so I could go back to grinding. Yeah, so I'm realizing now that uh, there's a lot of clips and footage of me just training, and uh, at the current point in time, I'm no longer anywhere near these levels that I am showing you, so... I know in advance, but I'm probably going to be cutting most of the training footage out as it's boring and if there's nothing new to go over or explain, it's useless. So uh, in this short, very short clip I'm going to show you, I leveled to level 75 and switched to the White Fang area. And then from there I leveled to 80. Uh, yeah, not much happened in here. I think I did some kite flying at some point and whatnot, but I mean kite flying is static it stays the same i guess i can go over it if i get a good clip of it uh but yeah no there is like i'm realizing that there is a lot to do and a lot to explain in this game but at the same time there is a 
hell of a ton of grinding that is not going to be fun to talk over. Well, not, not going to be fun to watch because it, I'm just going to be talking over it. So I'm glad I'm going to be condensing a lot of these clips in the future or just not recording them. Uh, I will see you in the next notable clip. Surprisingly, I made a pretty decent decision at this point in time. I was training at White Fangs, which is a pretty reliable spot. It's good solid EXP and a easy to navigate map, especially with an up jump and all the mobility I have with Thunderbreaker. Uh, but I realized since this is a fresh account, I do not have certain familiars that I would find very, very helpful, such as the big spider. Uh, Big Spider is a familiar that increases meso and item drop rate by 40 to 60 percent. Uh, apparently, to from testing, it's closer to 40 percent, but from values we've been given or been told officially, it's supposed to be closer to 60 percent. Uh, make that make what you will of that. I honestly don't know. Uh, I just know it it definitely increases the meso and uh, item drop rate, which is something that is quite helpful. So I went and got it. Uh, it does have a low drop rate. So of course I brought my uh, Kishin to, you know, Kishin the map and it just killed the whole top row. And uh, I went back and forth just clearing the bottom row. Uh, not much to say, once you get one of these cards, it's much like the junior boogie from the uh, first episode. Uh, once you get one of these cards, just pop it immediately because uh, it will increase the chances of you getting your next two to complete the vitality set. Uh, yeah, happy hunting.